if you watched the video yesterday, you will you will appreciate this. Uh, if you didn't see it, then you need to uh, look at yesterday so you understand it. Yesterday, we had to go out and get some essential items. That's the only reason that we went out. And we was at the uh, Long Meadow Shopping Center, and there's a store there, the uh, uh, farm, family, and home, something like that. And, of course, out in front, they have a lot of, like, lawnmowers, trees, different things. It kind of blocks a view of the doors. So my wife and I get out to go in to get some essential things. And she goes, where are you going? And I see this door that I was head to because that was the one that uh, was visible. And I looked, and guess what it was? It was the eye doctor. <laughs> I got a big kick out of that. Uh, the, being that was yesterday's uh, talk. Well, today, in Proverbs chapter 28, uh, in the, right on the top of the chapter in my Bible, I have written uh, these words, always to, always to. And, and verse number one talks about the wicked and the righteous. Uh, they're mentioned later in the chapter, the rich and the poor. Uh, as we, we've mentioned this before, that all through the book of Proverbs and as well as other parts of the Bible, there's always contrast one with another. And you know, when there's contrast, we're given choices. And usually it's between maybe good and better, could be uh, good or bad, but we have a choice that we can make. And I sure pray that you are choosing the good. And as you read through Proverbs, as we go through Proverbs, that you'll want to apply that good into your life. Well, here we're going to find ourselves today in verse number 20 of chapter 28. And it reads this, A faithful man shall abound with blessings, but he that maketh haste to be rich shall not be innocent. Uh, here the contrast uh, is not so much uh, between the... Uh, faithful and the rich, the contrast is the accumulating of blessings and the accumulating of wealth. And we've talked about this before. Again, there's nothing wrong with having wealth. There's nothing wrong with accumulating money uh, as long as we use it for the right purpose. Remember the Bible says it's uh, mon the love of money is the root of all evil. Uh, listen, uh, Lord, People are blessed with money and they use it uh, for the Lord. And that's why he gives it to them. So I don't want ever to give the impression, impression as we go through this that uh, because you have money, there's something wrong with that. No. Uh, and that's definitely not what this Bible verse is talking about because as you see, it says there, um, they are hasting to be rich. You know, that's their purpose. That's their focus is to gain wealth however they can. Uh, good or bad, that they are gain, gaining that. But that's not what we want to talk about today. Uh, we want to talk about the blessings. Uh, blessings, the definition of a blessing here is a wish of happiness pronounced, a gift, benefit, or advantage. And we know that all our blessings, everything we have come from where? That's right. Everything we have comes from God. God is where we receive our blessings. And here the Bible says that we can abound with blessings. Abound. When I think of that word abound, I think, well, abound is more than one. Uh, it's more than a couple. Abounding in blessing is more than a few. When I think of abounding with blessings, I'm thinking more than I can count. Uh, more than I deserve. And the Bible says we can abound with blessings. That's what I want to accumulate. And I really believe if we focus on the first part of that verse, if we focus on the abounding with blessings, that's going to take care of the second part where we want to uh, hasten to be rich. And so I don't want to focus on the second part of that verse today. I want to focus on uh, what God wants us to be. He wants us to be focused on abounding with blessings. Well, this verse tells us how we can abound with blessings. And what is that we find? A faithful man. A faithful man shall abound with blessings. The word faithful comes from the Hebrew word emuna. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I don't know any Greek or Hebrew. I'm sorry, I don't know Hebrew. I used to know a little Hebrew. Uh, he lived down the road from us when I was growing up, but he grew up and he moved away. But anyway, that word emuna 
is first found in Exodus chapter 17, verse 12. And you'll remember this story, I'm sure. And it's, but, but Moses' hands were heavy, and they took a stone and put it under him. And he sat thereon, and Aaron and Hur stayed up his hands on the one the one on the one side and the other on the other side, and his hands were steady until the going down of the sun. That word steady, that's that same Hebrew word here that we find translated as faithful. Uh, faithful. His hands were steady. They were faithful until the end. Do you remember the story when, uh, I think it was Amalek, uh, came against the children of Israel and Joshua led them into battle, and then Moses went to the top of the hill. He had the rod in his hand, and he was getting tired and heavy. And every time that the rod came down in Moses' hand, uh, Amalek, uh, his soldiers, started winning the battle. Every time that Moses put the rod up in the air, then um, the children of Israel started to uh, be the winning winning of the battle. And so Aaron and Hur came and took his, set him down on a rock and put his hands up in the air and they held him there. And the Bible says that they were steady. What does that mean, steady? Well, you know what? His hands did not waver. Uh, they didn't move. Uh, he did not quit. You know, and despite of how heavy he was getting under the burden of lifting up that rod and how weary he was, Moses didn't quit. He was faithful. He was faithful. And you and I, if we want to abound with blessings, we cannot quit no matter the circumstances. No matter how hard it gets, we need to be steady. We need to keep on going. Uh, we, if we're going to abound with blessings, we're not going to be able to be a waver. We're not going to be able to have to be like a wave. The Bible talks about the book of James, how we're just tossed back and forth. No, we just can't, you know, be, talk about one thing one day and then, well, no, we're going to be something different tomorrow. Uh, we're one way on Sundays and then we have, we're going to be a different way on Monday. No, we can't be wavering. We can't be like that. If we're going to be faithful, if we're going to be abounding with blessings, we have to continually to keep on going. Uh, Proverbs chapter 20, verse 6 says this, Most men will proclaim every one of his own goodness, but a faithful man, who can find? You know, it's easy to talk to talk, isn't it? But there's a difference between talking and doing. Remember the Bible says we need to be doers of the word, not hearers only, deceiving our own selves. Listen, how is your blessing count today? I mean, can, can you count your blessings? Or are you abounding with blessings? Listen, when we are faithful to God, when we're steady, when we don't waver, when we don't quit, God's going to continue to bless us and bless us and bless us. That's what I want in my life. And I really believe, because you're watching this today, I believe that's what you want in your life. Well, let's... Be faithful to God. Let's, let's just make it a purpose. Make it a point. So let's make that our choice that we want to be faithful. Well, God bless you, my friend. You have a great day. Love you all. Praying for you as you watch this video. Thank you for praying for me. And remember, we are another day closer. God bless you.